Hey guys, Armin Gun here today with the Type 81 LMG. This is the light machine gun version of the Type 81, which is a very interesting and very uncommon gun from China. So something you don't see every day, this is China's basically reimagined AK-47, or in this case, RPK. It is still chambered in 762 by 39 we got a lot of cool features here that we don't have on the AK-47, so I'm gonna do a couple mags here for you guys. We'll go through the adjustable gas block, the short stroke gas system, not a long stroke, and uh, some just some interesting things. Safety is different, lots of cool stuff here. So for starters, I'm gonna dump this drum mag and not in the cool way. We'll talk about that later. Here's a uh, Type 81 magazine and uh, this thing actually has a last round bolt hold open. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, let's let's get into it here and we'll do some uh, controls and whatnot after we do a few mags. Good time. Note that last round bolt hold open, pretty cool stuff. Note there's no bolt release. So you guys could just come over here, give it a quick tug, and she's back in, ready to go. Cool stuff. All right guys, let's, uh, let's run through these controls. So our safety selector, it's a full 180 degree throw, pretty crazy. That's uh, that's safe, that's fire. We'll leave it on safe. We've got a paddle mag release. Again, the mags are rock and lock. They're very similar to AKs. And I've been told you can modify AK mags to work in these. You don't get the last round bolt hold open feature, but with a slight modification, you still can get AK mags to run. At least steel ones. I tried some polymers in the mag well and they wouldn't fit. It's a little bit too tight for them. Then up here, we have an adjustable gas block. Now this guy is adjustable with a casing, case head of a bullet. We've got three positions, pretty cool. So we've got one, which is just standard fire. Two, or zero, which would actually be closed. So, and then two, which I believe should be adverse. So we're gonna run a mag with each one of those as well. The barrel is around 20 inches long, just over 20 inches. Thicker profile than the standard 20. We've got a threaded muzzle device. It's got that little, uh, little detent in there that keeps it on. I think it's an M16 by one mil right hand twist. We got ourselves a bipod, pinched together, running out, that's how you deploy it. You also got, if you pinch it, you can do some swiveling in there as well, but uh, we'll just put that guy back. Then of course this carry handle, the gun actually is surprisingly light. It is still a stamped receiver, steel receiver, but even with that long barrel, it's, it's just, it's surprisingly handy, handy gun. Uh, the wood is really nice. It's kind of a beechwood style finish. We got a club foot buttstock. There's a cleaning kit stored in the end. Here's a rear sling swivel. Here's a front. There is a kind of military green sling for this, which I'm going to try and track down. The pistol grip is a little bit more reminiscent of say like a VZ-58. It's kind of interesting. Just has that steel cap there and then this finished wood. It's kind of interesting. Anyways, guys, that'll probably be it for the controls. All right, then the rear sight here, you can see there's, it's actually kind of interesting. I'll just switch hands here so you guys can see it a little bit better. It is a rear notch with a bottom notch, which I line up with the uh, the front sight post there. And there's kind of an open aperture, and then there's another little top notch as well. Kind of different, but then the way you adjust the elevation is these dials. It basically just pops it up for different different distances, and I'll talk about this more in uh, next week's video. This is Gun of the Week number 54 for the channel here. I'll give it a full video series, so we'll do the overview next week, cover all the, the features and the specs, as well as some history on the gun as well, how they made their way up here into Canada. And then I'll also do a separate field strip video where I can break it down. I'll show you guys, again, there's no long stroke piston here. There's no piston attached to the carrier like you see on a traditional AK-47. This one makes use of a short stroke system. And then again, things like the adjustable gas block, just really interesting. But let's close off with a little bit more shooting here. This is the steel case ammunition we're shooting here today. Some pretty good stuff from Dominion. And uh, let's play around here with this gas system. So let's turn it down to zero and just see how this works 
with apparently the gas shut off. Again, to flip it over to fire, and at 180 degrees, I'm not a fan of that. It's very reminiscent of the Type 97 bullpup trigger. All right, so again, we should have a dead trigger. Yep, okay, so this would require a full cycle. All right, it's nice. If you guys look back to my M10X video, that was a, an AK-47 derivative, kind of based on the SIG 550, that thing, when I turned the gas off, just seized right up. I had to basically mortar it every time I wanted to get the, uh, the shell extracted, and that was with the same ammunition. I feel the recoil a little bit more, again, just because you're not getting any benefits of the recoil system absorbing any of that. Definitely feel a little bit more. Let's actually give you guys a quick little uh, demonstration here for uh, just your free recoil. Okay, that's uh, that's no gas. Let's turn it back on to gas. And this should at least feel a little different. But I do have to uh, cycle this up once more. All right. Yeah, noticeably... Noticeably less. All right, guys, we got one more mag. Let's uh, dial it up. Take a couple, let's dial it up to two. Let's see what she does there. It's all the gas. All right, here we go. Let's dial her back down. A little more, you feel the recoil a little bit differently. Full gas gives it a little bit more oomph, but otherwise, she's a pretty slick little unit. So guys, if you like my content, I've got five things for you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram down here at arm.n.gun. I post pictures daily of various guns I'm working on or stuff that's in my collection or, you know, stuff that's gonna be coming up on the tube. And I also post behind the scenes stories basically every day, a lot of them from the armory. So guys, please go check that out. I got some affiliate links in the description for coffee and different weapon-mounted lights. Purchasing through those does support the channel here. And uh, again, stay tuned for the rest of the video series on the Type 81 LMG. If you guys like it, I'll try and track down the regular version, the non-LMG version of the rifle, and we'll uh, play with that as well. Anyways, thanks a ton, guys. Lots of fun stuff coming. Arm and Gun, out.